WhatsApp is being used by over 1.2 billion people around the world and by 200 million people alone in India. It is one of the most popular apps around, but it doesn't take much time for it to become the most annoying too, as the app clutters your phone's memory with useless automatic downloads of photos, video, audio, and most recently GIFs. So here's a quick guide on how to turn off these automatic media downloads and use WhatsApp efficiently. Open WhatsApp. Make sure you're on the home page where all the chats are displayed. Click the three vertical dots on the top right and select settings. Now tap on data usage and you'll see three options. When using mobile data, when connected on Wi-Fi and when roaming. Tap each one of them and disable auto downloads by unchecking all the four options that is images, audio, video and documents. Automatic media download will be disabled. Though you can still view the content by individually downloading them. But WhatsApp saves all these media in a folder which is visible to anyone who opens your phone's gallery app. So what to do next? Well, there's a way to hide these photos in the gallery app as well. Here's how you do it. Download Quick Pick from the Play Store and open the app. Locate the WhatsApp media folders, that is WhatsApp images, WhatsApp video, WhatsApp audio, etc. Long press on them individually and tap the three dots on the top right corner and select Hide. This will make sure that your downloaded content is secure and you can hand over your phone to anyone without worrying about anything. Well, there isn't a way in iOS for now where you can hide your WhatsApp downloaded media, but still there's a way to at least stop the automatic media download. Here's how you can turn it off. Open WhatsApp and tap on Settings. Click on Data and Storage Usage. From the top, you'll see the media auto download and the following four options below. Photos, audio, videos and documents. Tap on each of them and select Never. Now only the files you choose to download manually will appear on your iOS device. So that's it. These were some of the steps to efficiently use WhatsApp on your Android and iOS device. Hit the like button and let us know if this helped you in the comment section below. And for all things tech, make sure to follow Gadgets360.com.